day 5,264 at the eviction clean out house. I'm tired today, but work has to be done. So join me, we're gonna fill up the dumpster. I'm hoping to get the top, uh, the second floor of the one half totally emptied. Ambitious, we'll see what happens. So one thing that we found, I'm like, eh, I'm not gonna take it. It's okay. And then I thought about it last night and I thought, no, I'm gonna take it. It's a cute rainbow bright lunchbox, 1983 Hallmark. It does not have a thermos. This can be wiped down and it will be wiped down. Tiny Tunes, Taz. So, things like this. I don't mind taking and keeping because again, it can be wiped down. Stuff like the furniture, when it has a mouse pee, no thanks. Plus this was, this was up in one of the rooms, but cute, cute, cute. So today we're just gonna keep working. Working, this is the dirtiest room. My goal of getting all the furniture down well, getting this whole top half cleaned the other day did not happen. So, we gotta do that. Oh, we gotta bring that down. But, it's not looking bad. So for those that said, you know, why don't you donate the furniture, take it to the thrift store, put it out for free. I'm going to show you why. And it's not just this piece, it's every piece of furniture in this house. Uh, most likely mouse urine stains. You have all this damage here. It's been chewed upon, water damage. Habitat Restore does not accept anything with pet dander, uh, whole layer, stains, wax, more damage to the front. The top part is just, I mean, look at the filth. It's just not worth it. Health-wise, it's not worth it. Time-wise, it's not worth it. Some things just cannot be saved. It's easier to smash up, put it in the dumpster, I'm going to try and salvage this plywood piece of furniture that uh, just should be destined for the trash. So he's masked your inside of last egg was thrown away, right? <laughs> yeah, I'm not putting them on my face. No, thank you. What's this? Dr. Scholl's foot powder. Bowling flag. Box to get they the are gold. There, huh? Gold chain. Fake gold. No. <laughs> that was I was really hoping that one that we got. Oh. It wasn't. This is a This is an uh, Irving Fryer Miami Dolphins card. Hmm. They like the dolphin. Yeah, Elvis. They do like the These more stamps? Yeah, it is. Look at that, really? Yeah. Cool. More Elvis stamps. I put them in the Elvis I'm going to put there. trash in this other bag, in this other drawer. I'm going to take cool. it out. Yeah. Active member bonus stamps. Time's running out. And, oh, I these are price stickers. Do you think they'd be better than the other ones? The other I don't know. How much are the other ones? What does the other one sell for? Well, the other ones are, well, you, well, you, got, you got to realize it's worth the dollar value just at the same. Oh, yeah, yeah. I think they're like 12 to 15 bucks a sheet. I'm trying to and remember. I think so, yeah. 
And then uh, but this one says this is active member Here's bonus. Here's another games. football card. These, maybe I'll clean these up and check these out. Uh, Dan Marino. Okay. Is it early? Maybe. Nice it's probably the 90s. The condition is really good. Uh, his rookie was 7,000. 500, 500. No, it, it could be a decent one, though. Huh. Yeah. That's cool. well, only the second year. Oh, that's a great lighting. <laughs> Again, my lighting team, they just never show up to work. It's unbelievable. So I'm in the other half. And I guess I'm just gonna kind of clean this up. Put we have a, a, a thing that's for scrap. That was weird. I saw like light pass by on the floor, and I thought maybe it was from top of the steps upstairs, which could be, but um, anyway, yeah. So, this half of the house I don't think has electricity. <laughs> Obviously, it does not. Uh, and this, uh, ha I, again, how do people live in these conditions? I don't know. But let's get back to hand. Task at hand. This is just me doing work, not finding anything super exciting. But everything's got to go. It's got to go. Close out, clean out sale. Got to go. So let's get let's get to work. singer then I could sing a little ditty as I'm working but I'm not actually this is stupid what I could do instead of just picking up all the little pieces I can pick out the scrap and then just take this whole thing and throw it out work smarter not harder I probably should have left that on there and then I could just sweep this stuff down. That would have been easier. Do you guys, that light is great. Do you want to see what it looks like, what it's like in here without a light? <laughs> Get ready. like without a light in this place so yikes definitely put that light on got 
definitely need a light on. It's all black. <coughs> See, this is the un unglamorous part of the clean outs. There's the whole part with finding treasure and uh, but this is the unglamorous part of clean outs. The glamorous part is finding treasure and, you know, digging through stuff and just finding all sorts of cool stuff. And then there's part of the clean out when it's the clean out. You can't decide, oh, I'm tired of throwing away these nuts and bolts. Like, you have to do it. And that's the side that a lot of people don't show. it's not the, oh my gosh you won't believe what I found it's the I found this stuff and just I thought I'd make this little announcement I had a lot of people comment why don't you put the furniture out at the end of the curb for free why don't you take it to you know Goodwill or Habitat and donate it you have to draw the line somewhere and I don't know <laughs> maybe you feel the same way maybe you don't but I do not want to donate or put out for free dressers that have mouse urine stains in them I'm not going to be scrubbing those drawers for hours upon hours to try and get the stain and smell out and I don't think anyone else wants to as for donating the furniture, other furniture, the closest thrift store, uh, they don't want the stuff. Habitat, Restore, believe it or not, they actually have rules and regulations on what can and cannot be donated. Uh, their furniture rules are rather interesting. Uh, the furniture can have no pet dander. This home, you look at the carpet, it looks like they haven't, they didn't vacuum for 20 years or more. Uh, no pet dander. No odor, no stains, uh, what else is it? Uh, no uh, breakages, no damage, no bites. That rules out pretty much every single piece of furniture in this house because it all has odor. odor. There's pet dander, they had dogs and cats. We can see by the, you know, the dog leashes that are left, the cat tree. And there's fur everywhere. That leaves out all the furniture. <laughs> I'm not donating the linens that were on the beds because those things are disgusting. I'm not bringing those linens home to wash and put in my washing machine and have the mouse doo-doo flip and tumble around in the washer. No, no. I know that it's good and we all you know, want to recycle. We want to donate. We want to be able to provide people with these things so that they can reuse them so they don't end up in the trash. But there are some instances you have to draw the line and kind of think, is this even safe to reuse? And a lot of these things in this house aren't. <laughs> if I can't easily wipe it down with uh, you know, a wipe, disinfect it myself with some sprays, soak it in a, you know, a basin of hot water, some of the clothing, if I can't do that easily, then no, no. And we are saving a lot of the stuff from uh, the landfill. All the metal is being taken to the scrapyard. The boxes, a lot of the boxes, most of the boxes that were in the half of Taco Stack's house, or the half he worked in, those have all been taken to the recycling center. The trash that was left over, the, the garbage cans of water bottles, we've taken to the recycling center. And we've donated a lot of the better clothes not the clothes that have been eaten by mice and you know mouse urine stains so we are doing our part but as i said i'm not <laughs> i'm not donating a 1985 hutch or dresser that has uh, mouse remnants on it that's not happening and i don't think you would want to donate that either so um just a little fyi before you donate things or before you take the time to load up a van drive all the way out you might want to check the donation sites website because you can learn a lot about what they do and do not accept and you might be surprised by it